the last couple of weeks, I developed the weirdest Spider-Man game in existence. It's about crazy stringing physics. Cute villains chasing you and wait, is that Trump? And in this devlog, I will show you how I finished the game. Despite the game being almost done last week, it wasn't playable. Enemies are too weak, you don't fall off. The game is too easy, Spidey's palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, you know what I'm saying. There must be a way to lose yourself. Uh, to lose your game. I took inspiration from Tiny Wings, where you have to race the time. If you're too slow, the game is over. I feel like this mechanic fits my game very good. It forces you to keep your momentum while swinging and to avoid crashing into those skyscrapers. And when you get shot and thrown back by a large amount, this is very bad. The way I want to implement the time constraint is by adding a villain who chases you. So I drew my favorite Spidey villain. Uh, no, 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 not, not that one. Cringe. And he's not even a villain. Even though this dance is kind of criminal. Yeah, he's the boss. I call my version of Doc Ock Octopup, since he's so cute. My idea is to have a short clip of Octopup chasing you before the game starts. Something like this. But yeah, it needs to look better. I added inverse kinematics so I can play around with his hentai tentacles. It also allows me to easily animate him and after a bunch of time I got this. The animation obviously sucks. The problem is that you cannot properly animate a tentacle with inverse kinematics. It's like a runway during the fashion week. There are too many bones. Bad news for me, to overcome the obstacle I need to animate every single bone by hand. One eternity later. I get you spot at all. To give swinging through the city some meaning, you will earn points for that. And that's great. Since I'm a gamer, I want to overcome my insecurities by gaining useless virtual currencies like chess elo, spider doll points and likes on YouTube. Damn, I wish I would get more likes on YouTube. As a matter of fact, you can also gain self-esteem by shooting the enemies. I also added a multiplier to reward skillful players. When you manage to not collide with anything for a fixed amount of time, the points you gain will get multiplied. And I can tell you, this isn't easy. Last but not least, I added some UI, showing the player how far they are away from getting caught by Octopuppet. And when you get caught, he... Uh... Yeah. Bro, Spidey is right behind you. Hashtag worst villain ever. But I fixed this and now he catches Spidey properly. One of the greatest moments in gaming is when you barely survive. And I want you to get this feeling in my game as well. First of all, we need to increase the tension. To do so, I turn down the music, make the screen darker and add some ox sounds when he's getting close. It looks and feels like this. Once you escaped, it gets bright again and you can keep swinging like you didn't almost die. The game is finally done, but there is a very small chance that someone who hasn't watched my video wants to play this too. And for all two of you, I made a tutorial that teaches you how to swing, to shoot and to torture your enemies. I also added a practice mode where Octopuppet doesn't chase you. We just need to add the tutorial button in the menu and wait. Is it just me or does this SFX slider looks kinda like sex? <laughs> nice! And there you have it my friends. You can play Spider Doll for free on itch.io. My current record is 90,000 points. I wonder if anyone can beat me. A lot of you asked for fixed levels and a boss fight. If enough people want to have this, I will deliver. So. If this video gets, uh, let's say, 157 likes, I will continue working on Spider Doll and make fixed levels with new enemies and a boss fight for you. I hope I see you next week. Bye.